Cho Sang-woo, one of the most hated characters in Squid Game, is actually just misunderstood. In this video, I'll go over not only how Sang-woo is actually a good person, what? but that he knew exactly what Squid Game was the whole time. How? Stick around until the end to find out. From the start of the games, Sang-woo would do whatever it took to win. To understand this, we have to go back to the beginning of Sang-woo's life. Both Sang-woo and Gi-hun grew up with single mothers in a working class society, where children were expected to move on to blue collar work after high school. Unlike Gi-hun, who perfectly fits this stereotype, sang was different, graduating first in his business class at Seoul University, the Harvard of South Korea. He was the golden child of Samung Dong. This of course leads to sang mother hyping him up big time, even saying to one of her customers that sang was too good for other women. While sang may not have set out with the intention of making money illegally, with such huge expectations from his mother and the town of Samung Dong, Failure was not an option. After graduating, Sangwoo most likely made some unprofitable investments and under such pressure to succeed, borrowed money, including from his own mother. So now that we understand Sangwoo's intentions for entering the games, we can understand why he did what he did during the games. In the first game, Sangwoo helps Gihun overcome the doll by giving him advice on how to avoid the motion sensors. Now, I don't believe this was out of much kindness towards Gihun, but rather that Sangwoo knew he would need allies to get through the first few games. Sangwoo always remained the most logical and practical person throughout the games, and knowing that he would eventually need to kill his friends in the end, he remained distant from them. He did what was necessary to win, including exploiting the trust of Ali during the marble game. Sangwoo couldn't completely shed his humanity, however, and you can clearly see the pain in his eyes as the shot was fired. It can be easy to forget that Gi-hun did the exact same thing to Oh Eun-nam, with the only difference being that luckily for him, his partner gave up. During the fifth game, sang pushes player 17 through the glass, and while this may seem like a psychotic move, it was again necessary to survive. With around 20 seconds to go, sang had no choice but to force player 17 to move forward. Had the glass tile been normal, Player 17 would just have fell flat on the glass, still allowing Gi-hun, Sabiok, and Sangwoo to move forward. Speaking of Sabiok, what if Sangwoo didn't brutally murder her, but really saved her? At the end of Game 5, Sabiok was impaled by a large piece of glass. She tries to mend the wound, but still struggles to stay conscious, with no doctor in the games to help her. Though Gi-hun couldn't admit it, Sabiok was going to die whether it was in the final game or in her bed. Instead of letting her live in pain, Sangwoo killed her, putting her out of her misery. Looking at Sangwoo's expression, it is clear he was tormented by this decision. It is also important to remember that Sangwoo saved his friends on several other occasions, defending his group during the fight and saving his team in the tug of war. Gi-hun would never have made it through almost every game, let alone one, if it wasn't for Sangwoo. So why, after all this trouble to win the games, did Sangwoo take his own life? In the final game, remembering that the reason Sangwoo entered the games was to pay back his mother and live up to her pride, Sangwoo couldn't settle to leave the games with nothing. So with his last words of my mum, Sangwoo takes his own life, completing his goal. In the end, Sangwoo was one of the most practical and probably the most well-written character in Squid Game. While I'm not saying Sangwoo did everything for the reasons I explained, it is clear that there is good in him and that he's just a scarred man who was put in a bad situation. Then again, he could just be an absolute snake. What do I know? That concludes my analysis on Sangwoo. Feel free to leave a comment on what you thought of Sangwoo as a character down below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next video.